Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today, we will be presenting about hotel reservation system. We will talk about four tasks for this presentation, which is list of requirements, use case diagram, use case specification, and also activity diagram. Without further ado, let's get started. The system that we want to develop will be used to manage uh, the front desk activity of a hotel. It will be able to accept reservation, to record information about the customer, to verify room availability, to allocate room to the customers, and to give admin the access of a customer booking. My name is Aida Taisha Binti Izam and my metric number is 272234. Okay, first we go to the list of requirements. It is what the system must do or a characteristic it must have. Lists of requirements are divided into two, which is functional requirements and non-functional requirements. Now let's go to the functional requirements. In functional requirements, there's five main functional, which is register account, logging into the account, booking for rooms, payment for booking, and also manage booking. Let's go to the register account. User need to register into the system by entering the details such as email, username, password, and phone number. Next, user can edit and view the information before they create the account. Next, move on to logging into the account. User enter the username and password to gain access into the system. In this way, they can they can do the reserve the booking process and others. Next main function is booking for rooms. User uh, enable user to search and find the most relevant booking option. User can view about the room and the rates, check available rooms for particular numbers of days. Information about booking will be displayed to the user and the user can request an additional add-ons such as bed, towels and others. User also can request a pickup. Next, let's move on to payment for booking. System will calculate and display accommodation charges including other utilities such as additional add-on or uh, addition, uh, request pickup. Next is user confirm reservation by accepting payment via various payment methods like cash or online transaction. Digital receipt will be printed out for user reference and check-in process. Next is manage booking. User can access all of users' booking information, such as customers' booking details and others. And lastly, user can edit the booking information. If the user, if the customer want to change the booking, the dates, or maybe the room, the user will get the access to edit that booking information. Okay. Next, we move on to non-functional requirement. We have two main function, non-functional, which is performer requirements and security requirements. First, we go to performance requirements. Performance should be fast and accurate. If the system crash, it should be behave perfectly normal when reloaded again. System will be available 24 hours for the user. System are ready to use and convenient to the user. And lastly, security requirement. User authentication and validation of member using their unique member ID such as a, a username and password. And lastly, only administrator will see and manage all the booking, the booking and the users. Assalamualaikum and hi, I am Ashira Binti Abdullah Azib with metric number 272246. So now, I will present about use case diagram. Basically, use case diagram is based on functional case from list of requirement. Inside the user, there is two primary actor which is customer and admin. Both of the user need to register their account before making a reservation. Then, user need to log in into the account that they already register. User need to verify their account by insert their username and password. If they are unable to insert their detail, system will claim it as a wrong detail. As a customer in the system, they can make a room booking. They being able to request additional add-on for their room and also able to request for pickup at any place. Then, 
To proceed the booking, customer need to make a payment. There is two options for customer to make a payment. First is online transaction and the second one is by cash. Both of the options will generate receipt as a proof that they already make a reservation and already make a payment or not. Next, as a admin in the system, they have been able to manage a customer booking. Admin can access customer booking and also edit the booking information of the room in the hotel. So now I'm going to tell about use case description. Okay, for the first is register account. In this uh, use case description, we are going to tell the user must have account before logging into the hours. Primary actor is the user. Precondition, the user must have the email, number phone, the bank detail and so on. The characteristic of activation is demand by user. Post condition, after the all uh, registration is finished and the uh, user can log in into our system. For the flow of event, we are list the how the, uh, the program will be done. The first, the user must select the register new account from the menu. After that, the system will display form to user fill in. And after that, the user fill in and user click done and, and finish. We don't have any alternative flow in this use case. In this, we have the exceptional flow. If the user enter the invalid name or invalid email, the system will display the message that will tell the user that they are uh, fill in incorrect uh, username or incorrect email. So uh, after that, the, the login into the account, the another use case. So the login into the account is the user can go into our system after they complete the register account. The primary actor is the user. Precondition, the user must have account before logging into our system. Characteristic is demand by user. Post condition. Customer able to visit our system to make a booking for their hotel and admin can manage the information. For the flow of event, we have three steps in here. For the first is user fill in the username and the password. After that, click the login button and the system will verify the user. In this, we also don't have any athletic flow. We have the exceptional flow, which is if the user fill in the uh, invalid, incorrect uh, username or incorrect password, the system will display error messages that provide the reason why the, the, dis the messages uh, have been displayed. Or if the user forgot our their password, they can click the forgot password and redo the password. Also, they can re-log in. We don't have any rules here. Okay, now uh, next is booking for a room. So, uh, booking for a room is we are going to describe the how the user are going to book our room. They can choose uh, any type of room. You can see the, uh, the rate, type of room, and so on. So, the primary actor for the booking for booking room is customer. For the for the precondition, the customer must log in into our system first. Characteristic of activation is demand by customer. Post condition, customer able to see the room, type of room, rates of the room, price, type, and so on. For the flow event, first is the customer select the booking from the menu and choose the date and choose any room that they want to book and choose uh, if they want to have submit on. So in here, we have alterna alternative flow for the customer. The customer also can book the hotel by direct from uh, to the hotel by call. We have also exceptional flow in this use case. If the customer select the unavailable room, also the system will display the message or unavailable date also will display the message. In this, we don't have any rules. We don't have any constraint. Constraint is payment for booking. This use case is described that use, uh, the customer needs, need to pay uh, either deposit or a full payment for their booking depend on type of room how many day they check in and so on the primary actor is customer precondition customer must complete the booking 
form first before go to the payment method. Characteristic of activation, customer want to make a payment. Post condition, if customer uh, want to pay via online, the digital receipt will send to their email and the receipt need to be presented during the check-in process. <coughs> And if the customer choose the cash, uh, they must go to the counter before they check in and they must pay before they check in. Uh. Okay, now the flow of even the payment. For the first, uh, the customer are going to click the button payment method. And they are going, the system are going to display, they are using, uh, the customer want to use the, cust uh, the cash or the online. For the flow event, customer must to choose their payment method, which uh, is online or cash. If the customer choose the online for the first, system will bring the customer to another website, which is a payment website. The customer need choose their bank, and after that, uh, fill in their username and password, and uh, fill in the amount, and all that. After they fill in the SMS and uh, get a receipt, and all done for the online. If the customer choose the cash, they must go to the counter before the check in to the pay and get the receipt there. In this, they don't have any alternative flow, exceptional flow. For the exceptional flow, if the customer don't receive their email, the, cust uh, the hotel will call the customer there. And if the customer has problem internet during the payment online, the payment will not complete and uh, the hotel will not accept the payment. In this use case, we have the rule. The customer need to make their payment. If not, the hotel will not key in their information in the hotel information. And also we have constraint. The customer must finish the payment online within five minutes for one time for the last one is manage booking in this use case we are going to tell you how the admin can manage the hotel information uh, such as booking information customer information type of room number of customer and so on the primary actor is the admin for the precondition is admin need an account characteristic of activation admin login post condition admin can edit the hotel information for the flow event admin can view the booking information and also admin can edit the hotel information such as change the price of the room or display the account and so on we have alternative flow in this use case the customer also can edit their booking information by logging into their account uh, the exceptional flow is if I have the error in the booking information the admin will contact the customer by God. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Abdullah Yasir al -Ahdal. My matric number 252136. Today I'm going to explain the activity diagrams. As you can see here, the, this one, multiple lines. The first one is admin. The second one is customer. The third one is system. The fourth one is bank. Uh, as you can see here, this is icon for the start. This is start point. Uh, the first action is uh, register uh, account. As you can see here, there's two types for uh, register account. The first one exist user. The third one, the, the second one new user. Uh, who has the existing user? The admin. Uh, the customer. He will, new, he will add new user uh, the first the first action for the new user is register new user uh, he will uh, the the customer the customer who will uh, add new new account the system he will display information form and the customer he will enter personal information uh, the system he will check the, for the robot and he will uh, message to customer then uh, and then uh, the system process register now I'm going to talk about login account uh, the admin and the customer if they want to log in account they have to input username and password as you can see here this is condition if the details invalid, the, the system it will message to them uh, error. Otherwise, if the details valid, the, syst the system it will check and uh, 
it will message to customer uh, making room reservation uh, and uh, the customer it will ask the system to display room details uh, as you can see here if uh, uh, admin or customer forget the password the system it will message to them error now i'm going to talk about uh, booking room uh, after the customer ask the system details the system uh, it will display the details for the room and the uh, customer it will ask more features if the request uh, available uh, as you can see here request uh, add on uh, the system display add on list uh, if the available uh, request uh, available uh, it will message uh, the system message to the customer request backup if not available uh, it will be otherwise uh, as you can see here if uh, uh, available request backup it will message to customer uh, after this display backup list now this is uh, I will continue for the back, uh, booking room uh, now the customer uh, he will confirm booking reserve reserve reservation the system process uh, for the booking and uh, display booking total amount and request uh, uh, it will ask uh, to customer request making payment as you can see here display payment method there is two two ways to uh, pay payment uh, the, as you can see here cash and online uh, payment uh, if you will uh, if a customer ask the system online payment uh, the system it will uh, ask the bank for authorize online and log the bank uh, it will log in online bank account and insert total amount and uh, and then insert TAC number and then display digital re receipt and then it uh, the bank it will uh, send to system process payment and the system approve payment and uh, to send the uh, admin now I'm going to talk about uh, manage uh, booking who can manage the booking uh, is the admin as you can see here af uh, after uh, systems uh, display review to to the admin the admin they, they can the admins they can update hotel information uh, also they can view customer reserve, reservation and uh, it will send to system display customer reservation details uh, the system it will send to admin if not error uh, update customer reservation details if error display error message uh, and, and otherwise if errors uh, connect customer if also error uh, automatic sent em email to customer now the system process the reservation and send to customer check-in uh, the customer uh, uh, the customers they can uh, show reser uh, reservation payment received or making payment at counter and then go to room uh, and then this is the end of uh, our uh, activity diagrams